the time going. No waters. <laughs> John Kane's here. And I'm just here to help you make some money. And we know that all the ladies out there are like the guys who have the money. And who's got more money than the host of Money, money. That's right! Tune in and hit that like and subscribe. Bring your dogs, bring your goats, bring your cats, bring your fucking bald eagles as pets. I don't give a fuck. It's a dose of truth and reality because I live it every fucking day too. I'm just like you out there. But you know who else is just like you? My producer, Steve. Hey! That's right, alright now, Steve. What would you have week like? You make a lot of money? Oh, um. Oh, I do errands for random people, so I get a little money out of that. Nothing too crazy. Girls, girls, how about girls? I don't want to get into that. No, it's... no, no, it's okay. When I was on Wall Street, we'd all go to the bar afterwards. We had little bathroom stalls, and they were dedicated to one thing, and one thing only. And guess what? It didn't snow in July in New York. <laughs> I'm definitely going all the way. Oh, he's a lucky boy. John Keynes. He's a drug dealer. You're here for something other than producer Steve, aren't you? You're here to say, John Gaines, and we haven't really talked about the future. When money changes, direct. What if they all go away and they're replaced by digital currencies? What if the Fed know that the Ponzi scheme is almost up? But they can't let it collapse. If they let it collapse without a peaceful transition, we're fucked, right? In 2008, we had a trial run. And then back in March, the markets collapsed. And we had another trial run. And they saved it again and stabilized the markets and assured the public and the market confidence. Because oh! that's what it all comes down to, see? What if that confidence is gone? You can't unscramble an egg. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? I'm afraid that the world as we know it will change and the Fed will create their own cryptocurrency. Treasury will be giving out universal basic income, but the only way you can collect it is off of the Fed app. And then you're like, yeah, I'm getting this free money, so I might as well put all my banking there. And then the next thing you know, you're buying your Starbucks. You know, you need the caffeine. I do anyway. I need a fucking... I need a fucking... What's the world going to look like when the dollar loses its reserve currency and then we're all digital currencies and we're not on top anymore, America? Like, it's not going to be good. Our standard of living is going to go way down. The other countries that are watching this video right now are probably laughing their balls off. <laughs> <laughs> they have to suffer, eh? They're going to have to suffer. It's going to be fucking bad, though. <laughs> what I just said tonight is an example of the stories I read to my children every night before bed. I tuck them in and I say, Daddy's here to tell you the truth. What, Daddy? That there's no Santa? <laughs> no. You can believe in that fat creep if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, when you're my age, you're going to look back in history books and think America was a wonderful place. What the fuck happened? Now I'm in a sweatshop. It used to be other countries, and we had it all. We want to have it all. We could have had it first. We want to have it all. Greedy. That isn't even the worst of it, kid. What do you mean, Dad? Why do you keep doing this? I'm 14 now. Well, every night you need a story. Except your story doesn't end so well. I don't know how yours ends, though. You know what I'm sorry to say this to my kid. Just prepare it for the real fucking world, because there's a fucking bitch out there. The economic world is resetting. They talked about it at Davos, virtually. They talked about the Great Reset. Now is the historical moment, the time to shape the system, to ensure that we do not fall back to old recipes, but that we really look at forward-oriented solutions. The whole world economy is going to change. I'm talking to reserve currencies. I don't know how it's going to play out, but it's going to be different. It's a different world from where you come. Isn't necessarily a world I want to be a part of. I'm protecting myself, my assets, if you will. <laughs> the assets, the buttocks. So I'm gonna recommend everyone go out now and go buy some buns of steel. Welcome to Buns of Steel Step 2000. Take care of those buns, all right? Take care of that portfolio because I know that each and every one of you live on Main Street, but I'm here to keep your assets safe on Wall Street. Let's get you started.